best business radio. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's Elliot Brown here in the Essex Business Radio Studio in the daytime, which we don't usually do. And Louise Glover, uh, Body by Louise, um, has come in, and we're going to do seven quick fire questions. Now, I've just actually answered the first two questions, so that's uh, that's fucked that up. But um, <laughs> right, we're ready, ready to go. Yeah, I'm ready. All right, All right, Louise. What's your name? Louise. <laughs> what is this about? What do you do? What do you do? Uh, I'm body transformation specialist. Uh, what's your business name? Bodybylouise.com. Okay. Uh, biggest achievement to date. Uh, achievement would be Mount Everest. Okay, what did you climb it? Uh, to base camp, yes. Oh, did you really? How many, how many, how many, how many of you? Um, I went on my own, but I met a group out there. Oh, did you? Uh, I did it for charity. Wow. Um, mum and dad passed away, so I sort of did it for them as uh, right. out of honour. Okay. And I took my mum's ashes and scattered them on base camp. Wow. Okay. So that's a, that's a big moment. Very, uh, yeah. Most interesting place you've ever been. Uh, I'd probably say as interesting, uh, cultural-wise, would be Machu Picchu. Okay. Um, I did the four-day Inca trail down there. And yeah, it, it looks amazing. cool. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah, cold, yeah. but it was beautiful. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, most famous, famous person you've ever met? I'll always say, and obviously the most respected person I've ever met, is Hugh Hefner. Wow, wow. Yeah. Unbelievable. Tell me, are you going to tell us about that in the podcast we're going to do, yeah? Yeah, I did okay. just meet him. I was a big part of the Playboy family. So, wow. yeah. Okay, it's a well, big part of my life. I, well, I definitely need to know about that. Big we part we, of we my all need adult to know about life. that. <laughs> um, most embarrassing moment to, 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 to date? Oh, oh, there is one actually. Um, I was on a trampoline. I used to be a trampolinist at school. Okay. So I'd stay behind after school, and all the boys would always like spot around the trampoline. Yeah. Um, and I back then obviously used to wear mum's bras right, and okay. there's these pads in them because the wonder bras had like little little pockets to put pads in. Yeah. To make you. We get we get a proper image here. Yeah, 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 no, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. But like the whole point of what I'm saying is I was bouncing on the trampoline and the pads came out and they were bouncing just as high as me. And I literally rolled off, rolled under the uh, trampoline. <laughs> so I went on the benches, then hid under the benches and sort of was like in shock with myself. Like what just happened? <laughs> well, the boys were looking. <laughs> Because I was like, probably one of the only girls in my sort of um, half of the year that like loved all the sports and stayed after school. And yeah. like, I was always the one that threw myself into all the sports. So yeah, that was yeah, sort yeah. of like really And still a massive, obviously a huge, maybe one of the biggest parts I probably just felt embarrassed and gone red as I've said it. I'm like, I still remember it. I don't, I don't, I don't think so. I don't think so too much. <laughs> Listen, this was a very quick, uh, quick um, vid yeah. we, we're doing here. So we're going to do a, do a quick short podcast because it's off the cuff. Um, so if anybody's seeing this on Instagram or Facebook or, or on YouTube, uh, you can check out this little very short podcast. Hi, everybody. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, check this out. Um, Louise, I'm looking forward to getting to know you a little bit better. Thanks. Yeah. Alright, thanks everybody. Ciao for now, a brown Bye. cow. Essex Business Radio, powered by Forge Management. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Well, we've just said that because we've done a very quick seven seven quick fire questions with Louise Glover, who's popped in. Uh, Body by Louise, how are you doing? I'm good, thank you. Yeah, thank you very much for doing this very quick uh, quick podcast. Well, I mean, they're very quick. We did the quick seven questions. We fucked the first one up, didn't we? To be fair, you kept asking me my name. <laughs> <laughs> well, you everybody's going to know, know your name. name. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so we, what we're going to do is we're doing this one and we, you're going to come back and do a proper podcast where I'm going to go over, you know, a bit of your journey and stuff so far yeah. uh, and what a journey it's been. So there's a lot, there's a lot to learn from you, uh, Louise. Um, and I'm looking forward to, to getting to that. I know you want to get yourself out there a bit on this side as well, don't you? And sort of talk about certain things, which, uh, we're going to go over in time. Um, so those quick, those seven questions we went through yeah. the name, what you do, uh, what do you, what do you do at the moment? I mean, body by what's bodied by Louise? Um, basically, so I started out, I was really sick once and I decided to sort of come out of hospital and sort of get my health back and train and eat really well. Yep. And whilst I was doing that, I had like an epiphany. I was like, oh my God, I need to do what I wanted to do originally when I was 18. And that yep. was personal training and helping people. Uh -huh. And I learned from my own experience that from going from what I was, you know, you know, uh, really sick, basically with septicemia, I was yeah. like, oh my God, like felt like you know i was almost gonna die right i was in the hospital for like four weeks just under four weeks right. and um but when i came out of hospital i felt great again and i was like but i wanted to change my lifestyle okay and that's what I, that's what i did and yeah. whilst i was changing my lifestyle within them a few months i decided to study nutrition and i did clinical oh, okay. nutrition right right as well as i did um personal training okay uh, so it took me a little while to sort of catch up with my course in yeah courses um and then yeah so then I started helping people and it just became 
a big part of me. I naturally went from being what was a model yeah. to going into helping other people and just sort of using my experience to go, right, I, I know I can help you. I know what you need. And I was also, you know, went through a, a slight bit of depression okay. at the same time and various other things and anxiety ridden and things like that. So yeah, sure. I knew um, through my own experiences how I can navigate that to help others. To help other people, yeah. Exactly. And um, so yeah, that's how, that's, how, that's how I got into it. And recently, one thing I've realised is with helping people who have obesity, some uh, ladies have had body dysmorphia. I've right. had guys that have had diabetes. I've yeah. had um, different women who've survivors of cancer. Okay. Um, and just your general fat loss in, in toning up is, is what I usually get as well. But in general, there's always there's always more than just people wanting to get fit. There's a of lot course. more behind it. And yeah. what I've realised is um, I'm emotionally helping them. I'm supporting them sometimes more than I feel like I'm physically helping them. Right. And I do offer that. I've always offered that support, and um, it's very important that I do. Yeah. Because you know some of these people that come to me for the help in the first place, they haven't got anyone else to sort of reach out to. Yeah, sure. So I become that, that, that whole support network yeah. system. Yeah. Um, so I've recently decided to study life coaching. Okay. Um, I probably should do a counseling course as well, but I don't want to go into the people's past. I want to sort of help people move forward with the future. From now, yeah, yeah. And that's exactly what life coaching is. Yeah. And it will be specialised in wellness life coaching uh -huh. and just helping people sort of get in. And, and actually, I've been doing it without realising. Um, I think I think it's sort of, I don't know, I've got to know you a little bit. You do, yeah. don't you? You're very much a pay forward sort of person. You want to help people. And so you do do these, these things naturally, don't you? Yeah, you do. And, and, and the helping you with a mindset and getting on the right direction on the right path is yeah. something that i feel is extremely important like you can you can go and get the body but then you still live in that life that you want are you in a dead-end job are you in the relationship you really want to be in are you really unhappy because sometimes that's why people have that weight on them in the first place because yeah. they're not happy absolutely and what i'm finding is the personal training side of it and, and that's why i don't call myself a personal trainer because i don't feel like i'm a personal trainer yeah i don't go and just you're, train you're bit, someone you know you're more than that aren't you? yeah and yeah. i believe that and that's why you know i've worked in places that everyone around me was calling themselves body transformation specialists in london so i've worked at places that just deal with the transformation side of it uh -huh. and you know i've been doing it for seven years probably going into eight years now and I've seen people completely transform their life from mm. what I've done. I've, I've had a lady, for example, who she was uh, extremely obese. She was a size 20 and I got it down to a size 12. Wow. And in do, you that, think, do you think you could transform me? It was a year and a half period. Uh, yeah, definitely. I can help everyone. I can help anyone. Honestly, I hope to help. I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. But... <laughs> no, I mean, everyone, everyone can favor a little help here and there. But yeah, I yeah. think sometimes, well, I think with it, a lot of it is mindset and just yeah. supporting them and being that sort of, um just a bit of everything for them you know so the you know you become the friend as well yeah and that is exactly what it is a very personable thing yeah for very sure very personable journey but you'd be i mean we're obviously we're going to do a full, a full on uh fireside chat and, and get to know the person behind the, the business so we're going to do that and we'll go through the journey um you've done modeling you've done a lot of things in your life um and we mentioned uh, one of the your biggest achievement one of your biggest achievements was uh, you mentioned in this quick fire question um was climbing Mount Everest. Mount Everest. Yeah. Uh, to base camp, yeah? Yeah. I mean, every so many years I get a niche and I'm like, I want to go and do something big. Yeah. Um, I'm, I've had my little holidays here and there and I've travelled all over the world and I absolutely love travelling. Yeah. And we're definitely going to be exploring that because there's a lot, I mean, so the stories you've got from some of your experiences yeah. and things you've got, I mean, we're definitely going to be Extremely doing... Extremely cultured. Yeah. And I... Extremely cultured. I like I that. love helping... <laughs> and humble as well. But I love helping people in, on a one-to-one, -one, but then, yeah. you know, anything to do with charity... It's all right trying to raise money and you just send off money. It's not me. Yeah. I am a hands You're a doer, involved. aren't you? Yeah, I'm you a are doer. very much Absolute a doer. Absolute doer. So, for example, 17 years old, I went to Belize to help build a school out in um, the jungle. Yeah. Um, and that was a concrete school, so it was also classed as a hurricane shelter as well as a school. Yeah, you, talk, you told me about this when I spoke to you on the phone. Yeah, right. so yeah it's, really it's, interesting. It's, um, so that was a 12-week project that I did at 17 years old. And that was a real eye-opener for me at that age. Did you? How, I mean, how did, you get it, how did you get into that? What was it that sort of took you to there? I mean, it's um, not something you just suddenly go, oh, I'm just going to go over to over there and sort of yeah, build a, no, I build left a school. school. I left school and I was like, 
just at college studying. I was actually studying fitness instructor at, yeah. at 17, 18. Yeah. But I saw this poster and I was like, oh, I could see myself doing that. Yeah. And it didn't have bullies on it at the time. It was uh, Mongolia or Africa or somewhere. Sure. And you basically go away for a weekend. You do a weekend in Wales. You do a week away in the Midlands and you pass all these orientation. You just pass all these different like group, yeah. working in groups and, and, and with different um, people of your own age. Yeah, sure. So it's 17, well, we know, 25 we know, well, we, know, we know somebody else. Um, uh, uh, Alex, wasn't it? Alex uh, from ALVM. Alex Lane. Alex Lane, yeah. And uh, he he went over. Where, 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 we were on a podcast uh, recently. To producer Joel, how yeah, are you doing I'm, today? I'm good. How are you, Ellie? Yeah, I'm good. Thanks very much. <laughs> how are you? Yeah. I'm good. good. You mentioned Wrong Gambia, good. did you? Gambia. Yeah, you went to Gambia. Gambia. Oh. That's right. Yeah, you yeah, went to Gambia. Went with my cousin, yeah. Yeah, For and the, um, um, he was telling us about that. So, yeah, I, I mean, I never thought, I, I never, that wasn't around me when I grew up. When I was that age, there was never an op opportunity to do that. Where, where were you living when that when you did that? I was actually living on my own. I, I've lived on my own since I was 16 years old. Okay. So I lived in... And we'll in... talk about that. We'll go back <laughs> to that. That's a different story. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> um, so the, the, what I went and did was what was called a youth development program. Okay. Um, and it's, if anyone will know the brand that I worked with, uh, the charity was Rally International. Okay. Call it Operation Rally. Um, and... You remember um, Prince William did it in Chile and he was carrying right. the logs That's and he was on right. all the front of the, all the newspapers. Yeah. If you remember him doing yeah. that. It was the same expedition, but I did mine in Belize. Okay. Um, so I did that at 17 and helped build a school, trek through the rainforest and stayed on an Very island. Cool. Absolutely incredible thing to do at such a young age. Yeah. And again, it was a youth development program. So it did develop me as yeah. a young person. Yeah. Um, and the thing was, I did like, come back and I got, you know, did my college and uh -huh. then I did. Um, again at 20 years old i was like i want to do this again yeah but at that point i had to sort of completely fully fund it because i was under 18 i got some help with that okay through prince's trust right okay and when i was 21 at uh, 2021 i was like there's another opportunity to do it that one i did in belize was 12 weeks the next one would be four you've weeks you've just got this thing in you haven't you in go out there and, and help out and sort of build things yeah. and do things haven't you you've just got your that, uh... that bug inside yeah, me to yeah. go and i want to help more this is not enough yeah um but you've still got that bug i can see that you've still got that energy not go away. <laughs> um but you know i went to malaysia i went to borneo and i helped build another school out there wow. as a preschool and that was again we, we trekked into a rural village and it was just an incredible farm life um, we're eating off the ground, like uh, the, the land. Sorry, we yeah. just eat. We're not off, off actually off the ground. <laughs> but, yeah, we, were, we were sleeping on the ground. Yeah, yeah. Um, in like just mosquito nets in yeah. our room, sort yeah. of thing. Yeah. Um, and staying in hammocks and things like that in the jungle. But uh -huh. It was incredible. And, wow, what experience? What yeah, an experience. And I was teaching the children English there too, which was quite good. Okay. So a slightly different experience again. Yeah. Um, and then that was with Rally International as well. Yeah. And then um, help build a school with all hands and hearts um only a year ago over in peru oh were you really yeah um they had mudslides and the mud basically all of these projects have been because there's been natural disasters sure and um hurricanes um you know wiped out yeah, yeah. homes and, Christ, and I mean, skills there's, and so, villages. there's so much of it isn't there Thank communities thankfully yeah. to people uh, to thanks to the people like you going out and sort of rebuilding and helping sort of you know get the communities back together and uh, and sort of building their lives back up again i think the biggest thing of it all isn't just rebuilding that that home or that 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 school or that community you actually rebuild in hope yeah and to see them You're happy such a lovely and person aren't you? to Look see them all happy and, and and the families there and they they don't have much yeah they've they might have like odd looking flip-flops and yeah you just they just they have a little t-shirt and that's it tiny po they don't have any clothes they don't have much in the, yeah. these villages but they they're happy yeah and that is the key of it for, for, for young people to go and do these projects because they, they learn that and yeah. they need to see that at a young age mm -hmm. to open their eyes up to life and mm -hmm. go, right, it's not all about staying with my little laptop or my you know, iPad or yeah. just, you know, there's playing a lot, games. There's a lot more to it. Well, it's not, that's not important to them, is it, to be honest? But, you, know? you know, kids these days, they don't, and this is another subject in itself, but kids these days, they don't, like when I was a kid, I used to go play out on, yeah. on the street. And of course. You throw a bloody plan on the street now, can you? Yeah, you play Kirby or whatever it was called yeah. back then, no, kicking can't. a ball around or hot peas and cold onions or whatever it was called. Chase. <laughs> yeah, that as well. Or kissy cat. Kissy, yeah, kiss, cats, kissy we used cats, to call cats. It was it. Was it? Was yeah, it's it's kissy no. cat. Really? Exactly. Well, I was just kiss chase. So I just kiss, just kiss anybody. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I think the youth of today sort of need a little wake up call. Um, I recently signed up as the ambassador of a WWF okay very so cool. yeah so the another amazing achievement will be this year i'm going to be doing kilimanjaro so yeah. i'm really excited about that and, and you are really excited about i that, am really yeah. excited and i've just found out i'm going to be visiting orphanages and yeah. helping teach english there and wow. 
than I should you really be. are I just love doing projects like this yeah. this is my this is the real me this is the, hu, the, the humanity humanity human, yeah, yeah, hu what's the word yeah the the, hu, the the human side of things uh, I don't know what the word is but we'll just go with that yeah yeah a human not yeah, a hu a being... humanity no hu I'm a humanitarian you're, you're humanitarian that's the word yeah. I'm looking for humanitarian there we go so some pretty big achievements um, we, we then asked the question mm. I said what's your most interesting place you've ever been to and by the sounds of that there's a hell of a lot of them but you, you said many. You, but, but the, the one place you said was uh machu picchu was it machu what very interesting yeah is, it, is, that, um, how you, is that how you pronounce it well it's just the inca trial yeah machu picchu, machu picchu um yeah. everyone might pronounce it slightly different yeah. i'm a northerner what can i say yeah <laughs> uh but no there's, you're a northerner there's... living living here in essex yeah exactly there's yeah. a lot of northerners michelle keegan lives in essex yeah yeah, yeah she does there. yeah she lives next door to somebody i know actually there you go. yeah um Not and so but, you, but so you've been <clears throat> excuse me you have been some pretty interesting places um the most famous person that you've met now uh, that, that, that was uh, that was that's an that's a very interesting character um go on tell us a little bit about uh, meeting hugh hefner it wasn't just a matter of meeting him i became a big part of the playboy family so yeah. i worked with playboy for 10 years i was one model of the year with playboy so wow i got the opportunity to go to the playboy mansion it's all all sides of louise we're covering, we're covering oh, we're not yeah. well, no actually we're covering a, a couple of sides of, of well louise, people yeah. say i'm an, like an onion so <laughs> all these layers you know what can i say but um yeah so i've been part of the playboy family um since i was 20 years old so i literally it was like an open invitation. I could go to the Playboy Mansion anytime I wanted. Yeah. So I was literally going every few months. <laughs> and then I literally As moved you would. out. Oh, so would I, to be fair. <laughs> I, did, I actually moved out to LA and I was like, that's it, I'm staying here for six months. Yeah, so I, I literally love, stayed love out there for six months. It was amazing. And in that time, I did all the big um, events and parties with the Playboy Mansion. Yeah. And within that, the E channel would be, we were filming and okay. got the opportunity to be part of Snoop Dogg's show. Wow. Um, really? Yeah, so, so how'd you how you meet Snoop Dogg? So he would be um so the E channel at the time was the girls of the Playboy Mansion. Oh yeah, yeah, I Snoop remember watching Dogg, that. He had his own channel and yeah. he did he. Yeah. He had his own channel and they all came to the mansion and what they do, they chose so many girls to sort of even be body painted and yeah. dancers on okay. stage with them and things like that. Very so cool. We got to really, it was really cool. Yeah, we get to hang out with all the really cool celebs and yeah. um, A-listers, if you want to call it that. Wow. But it was just nice to sort of see people in a relaxed environment as well, because when they weren't working, you got to hang out and stuff like that. So, yeah, yeah it was nice. It was really good. And there you, um, were, there you were, glitzing it all up at the Playboy <laughs> Mansion. And now you're in the Essex Business Radio studio. I mean, we're, we're I'm blessed living. for you if you to pop in and, <laughs> and do this very quick, uh, this podcast with us today. I mean, I, I, I feel blessed. You, what do you reckon, Producer Joel? Are you feeling blessed? Very, very much very so. Blessed. You're bringing blessed. me back. You're reminiscing. I'm like reminiscing. Reminiscing, yeah, yeah. If that, I could just live in the reminiscing world, it'd be amazing. Yeah, well, listen, we go. We I don't go, live in the past. We're going to so. be covering some of this, aren't we? You know, we're going to be doing a podcast. We're going to be we're going to be covering some of these uh, these bits and pieces, yep. and it's not all been uh, been sunshine and rainbows, is it? There's been some difficulties oh, along yeah, the way definitely. as well. Yeah, Everyone I... has their ups and their downs. Yeah, um, and I acknowledge that, and yeah. you know, embrace it. You're very real. You're very <laughs> humble. Um, uh, most embarrassing moment you said about um, bouncing on a trampoline and uh, and your <laughs> mum's bra coming off. There's got to be another embarrassing moment. It what's, was what's the pads it? of the bra that came off. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> yeah, yeah okay. the bra did not come off. <laughs> Uh, any other embarrassing any other embarrassing moments that stand out in uh, in in your i mean no nothing nothing i can't to think of any no, that's, that's no. so um what what brings you to 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 essex then is that is essex been uh, been a sort of a big part of your life in the last few years it has the last few years but um originally i moved to london yeah um i lived in angel in islington london so yeah, i love that area i just i've lived in a few other areas in london but i always ended up going back to angel yeah. um for 10 years 11 upper years. street what a great yeah, place to go great out place. man i mean is it do they, they say that you can eat from everywhere around the world can't you up if you go up upper street there's like a restaurant from there pretty is well actually. everywhere yeah there's a lot of restaurants up there. Uh, and the bars and things i tell you what though i went out there uh, a couple of christmases ago it was christmas eve and everything co closes early on christmas eve it was ridiculous i expected a bit of go out partying but it all closed early well oh, you're doing brentwood <laughs> they're all out till crazy I yeah yeah but, I'm like, but, i just want to go home <laughs> But uh, but yeah, but so so upper street. I mean, you know, is, Islington uh, is is I know it very well. My uh, my my boy goes to school there. Uh, you know, a ten year old and uh, his family are from that area. It's a it's a nice part of London. Isn't I just it? always felt safe in Islington. There was a time when I was um, living right by London Bridge, and three guys jumped me and obviously got my bag and stole my phone. Really? Stole my phone. They saw me at the time. I jumped off the. I come off the tube and I yeah. sort of put my phone in my bag and they saw that. And then yeah. the next minute they sort of. How long ago was that? It's in the direction I was walking. Oh, several years back. Yeah. 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 But they, yeah, they fractured my fingers and oh, it was really? not good. Yeah, I was, I think I was, um, 
it says fight and flight you, you kind of go in fight or flight mode yeah and i think i was sort of went into flight yeah sort of went to the floor but then i was like because they're kicking me from the back you know when someone takes you from the back of your leg and go down oh really it was one of those situations it's pretty where fucking just, awesome. what is the matter with the they world? were just young opportunity i see it as opportunities, opportunities. there's a lot of those yeah. in london to and be it honest. was before christmas so um whatever was in my bag they just obviously took the bag so they just wanted the bag yeah i was just really fortunate and lucky i didn't have a knife yeah because there was a lot of that in the south side of london yeah. and i was only li literally borderline of that wa where the water is where the river yeah. is so. yeah yeah um like london bridges so yeah. bo so body by louise i mean you're you're you you do you do a bit of massage as well i believe that's sort of something that you do, yeah, you're doing currently all, as well but all part of the therapy side of it yeah so um i did a beauty course with the massage just to do the massage side of it but i just wanted to add that as an holistic to the approach that i have with people to help them in every which way and yeah it's just i can't stand massages you like, do you know no i don't like them people go and say it's, it's nice I don't, it's just not, it doesn't, I'm just uncomfortable having been um, like massaged and pummeled and things. It's not my bag. I love actually doing the massage. Do you? Yeah. And I do, uh, yeah. Oh, I producer just... Joel would, you know, he likes to just fucking lay down, to be honest. Yeah, and just do anything. Go up and sleep. Fuck's sake. Perfect. Just lay and there. The best bit is I, I, I struggle to keep him awake, to be honest, <laughs> half yeah, the you time. You just want to surprise him with coffee all day. Yeah. Okay, have another coffee, Joel. Coffee, yeah, have another coffee. coffee. Can't yeah. relax, can yeah. you? I'm not, I'm not being funny, but we gave, we gave Louise a coffee or two, and uh, and and that that was it. I mean, you you were you were bounced off the walls, babe, weren't you? I don't do well with like I don't. That's why I don't have pre-workout or anything like that. It yeah. Just one gives me headaches, and two, I just don't shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a northerner. Leave me alone. You're a northerner. So, wait, so where, where, so where are you? Where, where, where are you from originally? Uh, Saint Helens, which is um, Saints Rugby League. Okay, that sort of town. Manche Johnny, Man Johnny Vegas, Manchester, <laughs> Manchester way, right? Uh, yeah, it's 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 uh, Merseyside basically. So yeah, it's kind of in between Manchester and Liverpool. Okay. Yeah. Um, you go. You still go back there at all? I mean, is it cha uh, it's changed a once lot? Once a isn't year. It? Yeah. There's. I mean, my mum and dad was when I was younger. They said, "There's nothing really here for you." And I was like, I was always wanting to be, be a model. Yeah. Since I was uh, quite young like nine years old so they basically said why don't you and i was trying to be a model uh, since 14 pro right. properly trying right oh really were you yeah i signed up with agencies in manchester and then i came to london right um and this and is, it, is, that, is this where your career kicked off yeah downtown, so i had my mum and dad present uh, up until i was 18 my mum or dad had to be present at the competitions and the agencies yeah. um and I didn't really get any work until I actually turned 18. Yeah. Um, I was trying though. I, I, I was always a doer. I was always a trier. And, I, and I, I've changed, always, is it? no, not at all. It, <laughs> it's embedded. And they were so fucking proud of me. Like, I'm, I'm, they're not with me anymore. It's the but first time you've sworn, I think, yeah, to be honest. Yeah, they're just, I, I really mean that though. Like, it comes from the heart, that does. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> It yeah. really came from the heart. But they, they were so proud. They still are, wherever they are, you know, they're proud of me. And, yeah. and that's, you know, that's what's left with me even though they're you know they've gone yeah but um but yeah like for me to do what was it 16 years maybe longer as a professional model yeah. it's pretty damn good you yeah know? yeah but you know i came to london at 18 and, and i made a life of i made a, a, a career yeah for myself and i did tv shows where mum and dad was on them as well and they would actually stand there and go there's nothing up here for Louise and she's gone to London she's made a life for herself you know and I was just like thanks dad I'm so proud on television like I mean something we're going to talk about uh, because I because I think it's really important it's, it's you know it's definitely something that's spoken about a lot is 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 the sort of the rise to fame and then how that how that can affect you with with sort of that, that dropping off and we're not yeah. going to talk about that today necessarily but yeah, it's, it's a definitely big subject, it's it? a big subject we want to cover and and is 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 all over the news these days isn't it with yeah. uh, with and we talked about this br very briefly before the show love island and and people sort of taking their own lives and things like that you know there's a there's a there's a big thing and i do i do know there's a bit more support around but mm. it's something you've been through and, and i know that you can help people with which we're going to be talking about moving forward yeah that's a big um that's something i really want to do is my own like series absolutely podcast. and i want i want to call it finding my voice because everything i've done in my career has been visual it's been photographic absolutely and, Although I did do um, a year of television presenting, which was amazing. Yeah. It's not the same as me just being myself and giving off my experiences to help other people. Yeah, sure. And, you know, I'm physically helping people body by Louise, which is great. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, I'm helping individual people. Yes. But now I want to kind of take that to a whole new level and help people on a bigger platform yeah. and reach out more globally to, to help people with variation of, of topics and subjects. And yeah. just life experience is 
you know how you can help people so yeah, yeah we well we're looking forward to getting to know you more i'm sure everybody you've got a big following um where can people find you um on on social at the moment so we're going to give yeah. you a little plug where can people find you well my instagram is just louise glover um yeah. and um on various other platforms as well yeah but i don't know if people use everything it's just okay. louise glover you'll find me you'll... and and your website is body by louise yeah body by louise is my like business website for training and massage and various other bits yeah great well listen we're going to be coming back and doing another show we're going to let everybody know what, uh, what's going on um there's going to be some links around the post somewhere or on facebook and youtube and things like that so we're going to do that and very soon we're going to be getting you in and, uh, and doing a podcast with you and, uh, and moving forward with a few more brilliant i look That's forward to it thanks very... so much for coming in doing a quick one with us fun yeah you're looking yeah. forward to it yeah no, so this is all right wouldn't it yeah i love reminiscing and i don't feel like i get to do a lot of that enough because yeah. i'm in an area that i'm not from as well so yeah um I'm you, and not, me, you and me both yeah so people don't go oh remember when you did so and i'm not around that so it's really nice to have well what, um, we, what we class is it's impressive. from essex to the world well we... it's not it's from louise with love <laughs> <laughs> what a great way to end all right well thanks very much for joining us for this uh, for this quick podcast thank you producer joel Cheers, guys. Thank you. <laughs> and um, we're going to we're going to catch up with everybody soon and let us let them know uh, when Louise Glover's coming in. Um, thanks very much. That's right. All You're right. Welcome. Well, yeah. we're going to sign off. A ciao for now, brown cow. <laughs>